Having seen an example for n equals 4, now let's state the fast Fourier transform precisely for the general case. As input, we have a sequence of numbers a0 through an minus 1, where n is a power of 2, and we want to return the values of the corresponding polynomial at the nth roots of unity. We'll state this as a recursive algorithm, and the base case is where n is equal to 1. And in that case, we want to return the single element sequence consisting just of a0, the constant term. If n is greater than 1, then we call the fast Fourier transform recursively, once with the even coefficients and once with the odds. Then we combine the results, taking care of paired values together. Notice the difference in the sign on the contribution from the odd powers, which became s prime. How long does this take? Well, we traded one problem of size n for two problems of size n over 2, plus some order n work for all the arithmetic in this loop. By the master theorem, this gives us a running time of order n log n. This is much better than the n squared running time from the naive evaluation by Horner's rule or by matrix multiplication. There's one other wrinkle that I want to add to the algorithm, and that is to say that this omega parameter here can really be any primitive nth root of unity. All that matters is that all the powers be distinct and that those be the roots of unity. So we can add this as a parameter to our algorithm as well. So we now take in as well that omega is a primitive nth root of unity, and we'll use that in our update rules in here. We'll see how this comes in handy later.